hi guys welcome to my channel so this is my next project i'm going to be working on this traditional Igbo dress for a bride the, this is the material i'll be using i think this is uh, indian lace so guys this is the main fabric for the skirt but i'm going to be using the lining to cut the skirt then before i cut the main fabric so let's get started guys now the lining is two yards two yards of lining i've pressed it so the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to draft both the front and the back on the lining at the same time so to cut the lining out i'm going to divide the hip into two then add my seam allowance and add my zip allowance okay so to divide our hip into two that's going to be 20 inches okay that will be 20 then i'm going to add four inches for the sewing the seam allowance okay that is two inches for the front and two inches for the back that's 24 then one inch zip allowance that is 25 so i'm going to cut the 25 out of the line okay first thing first i'm going to mark one inch zip allowance out then i'll mark one inch from the top edge of my fabric So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark our hip depth. We to hip depth is nine inches. Then the breaking point I'm going to use seventeen inches. You can use between seventeen to twenty inches depending on the height of the client. Then the length of the skirt is the lining we we'll use forty three. What I have here exactly because of the lace edge of the of the main fabric. I'll mark it again now 17 9 17 i'll connect the points next thing i'm going to mark the hip measurement so i'm using 40 40 divided into four that's 10 i'm going to borrow three quarter inch from the front if you have not seen my last tutorial on a basic pencil skirt is on my i'll place it on the description uh, below so that you can see so i'm borrowing three quarter from the front to the back okay the front will be nine quarter so the front will be nine quarter remember we borrow a uh, quarter um three quarter inches from the front so the back is ten three quarter while the front will be nine quarter okay so i'm going to subtract one a uh, one and a half inch for the break at the breaking points okay then for the back i'm going to subtract three quarter inch from this point now uh, this is 10 three quarter okay now from here i'll move three quarter inch in i haven't done that i'll come to the waist the waist i'm going to use um seven and a half inches plus um that allowance, I will use one more quarter, or let me use one and a half. I'll use one and a half due to the difference of the waist to hip. I'll use one and a half. Okay, so what I have here, I'm going to do it at this point. So I'm moving three quarter inch from here, mark 10 three quarter, and move three quarter inch in from here. So I'm going to connect my points. So I'll come down to give you the shape. I'm going to come down by half an inch. Then the dart will be four and a half. Four and a half. I'll connect my points. Okay. Then I'll mark six inches. The depth of the dart. So I mark one and a half, one and a half, 
and I'll mark the same thing. Okay. So I'll connect this. So I haven't done that. I'm going to reshape the leg of my skirt. So from this point now, I'll mark out one inch for zip allowance. Then I'll cut off the rest. So this is already one inch. So from this point, I'm going to mark the one one inch. So I'll cut this point out. So let me mark for the front, then I'll add the seam allowance for the front and for the back. So this is seven to the quarter. I'll mark the same here. Seven to the quarter. So I'll connect. So for the waistline, I'm going to mark uh, seven and a half for the waist. Okay. Then I'll cut out the quarter of an inch or one more quarter, depending on the protruding stomach. I will see. Let me just cut one more quarter out. I will use that to shape the skirt. I will do the same thing to this uh, front, center front, to crop out some of the gaping. So I've marked both the front and the back of the skirt. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add the seam allowance. And I'm going to be using uh, two inches. Let me use two inches because I'm going to use it to turn the main skirt before sewing. So at the waistline, I'm going to add half half inch. The next thing is to cut it out and cut from the main fabric, okay? So guys, I've cut out the, both the lining and the main fabric. For the skirt so the next thing i'm going to do is to add st i'm just going to cut about four inches st to the waistline so guys i've pressed in some interfacing as you can see this is paper gum in nigeria we call it paper gum so it's very light this is very light this is it there are some thick one but this is very light okay so i've ironed pressed it in at the waistline if you if your client pays you very well you can actually put it all through the skirts, okay? So, now the next thing is to go and use the lining. I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch around the edges, then trim and turn and torsage. So we'll do that on the machine. I will do the same thing to the back.
so guys i've finished the front as you can see i've turned the main dress and the lining in and out and i've top stitched so i'm going to do the same thing to the back then we will now join the side okay so for the back i have to add uh, some interfacing to the center bag so to give it more structure fabric to fabric lining to lining so guys let's get to the machine So guys, the front and the back of the skirt has been sewn as you can see and press. The next thing we are going to do is to stitch the right hand side of the skirt. We will stitch it by one and a half inches that is remaining. Remember we added two inches sewing, seam allowance, okay? So for the left hand side, I'm going to add the wrapper. We'll join this to the left hand side. Then we're going to turn, it's going to turn around. So guys, this is the skirt on the table. As you can see, I am through with the skirt. This is the back, this is the front, and this is the wrapper that I fixed on the left-hand side of the skirt. So I'm going to drape it on the client when she comes, but I'll briefly drape it on the uh, dress form so that you guys can see it. So for the wrapper, it depends on the style you want. The wrapper can be fixed at this side or it can be fixed at the center or center back of the skirt so anyhow you want it it can be draped to the front double draped to the front or the way i have made it so this is going to go through the back like an anti-clockwise go this way and come towards this side like i said i will briefly drape it on a dress form okay so the next thing to do now is for us to make the corsets of the dress but i think i will stop the video at this stage because it's already the skirt is already long so guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.